What feels like you the most? I'm not talking about any emotion. Where is the you that experiences every emotion? Can you go directly to the feeling of I without trying to conceptualize it or figure out if you're doing something right or wrong, without doubting and asking if this is it or not? Can you simply realize that sense of existing that requires no trying or thinking about? That sense that's here even when thoughts are rising, the sense that's aware of thoughts changing, but can you notice that this sense doesn't change? Notice that this sense isn't a thought. It's here even when confusion is here, anger, sadness, fear. This sense is no opinion, because it's the space that opinions rise out of. Thoughts rise out of this sense, and then they fade back into it. Experiences rise out of this space, and then they die back into it. This sense of simply existing has been here through every single experience, and it hasn't changed at all. Only experiences have changed, not this sense. It's always peacefully being, regardless of what appears. It doesn't have problems, it's only aware of the mind creating them. It doesn't have anxiety, it's aware of it. It doesn't seek, it's only aware of seeking. It doesn't know anything, it's only aware of the ego claiming to know something. This sense isn't resisting, it's not judging, it's not labeling things good or bad, it's not rushing to get anywhere. It's only aware of that activity because it is not an action. It's aware of actions. It's not trying or doing anything because it's effortlessly aware of all of that. This sense is here before the ego even tries to look for it. It's here before any concept about it rises because it's not a concept. This very simple sense is all there truly is. This is everything. This is all there is. This is the only thing here. Even though it's not a thing, this is the self you should be focusing on because you, as this, are the only one here. Everything is this. It's literally life itself. This sense isn't a person. It's not a separate person. The person that many of us identify with doesn't actually exist. Try to find a person without thinking about it. The person is an idea that has been created by the mind. This whole reality has been created by the mind, and the ego may say no, it can't be this simple. Because when it hears about enlightenment or whatever, it's expecting some super magical thing. It's looking for a certain sensation in the body, for it's imagining being some superhuman or something, but that's not true at all. Pain can still be here. Thoughts can still be here. It's just that now you're effortlessly observing them. And from this place you no longer identify with them, which will soon lead to freedom. You're no longer trying to grasp on to a specific thought or experience. Because what you are isn't an experience. You're being the flow of life itself. No expectations, no worries, just being. And it's not this boring, plain being. It's love, it's joy, it's aliveness. You feel alive. One thing that really helped me realize what I'm pointing to is noticing 
that I am not my reactions. I am also not the reaction that reacts to my reactions, because for me, the ego was so judgmental when thoughts would rise. Another thought would rise and say something like, okay, I am not my thoughts, and then more thoughts would come. Then another thought judges more thoughts for being here. I developed a dangerous spiritual belief system that if I am what I am, then this shouldn't be this way. I shouldn't be feeling like this or having all of these thoughts. But feelings and thoughts have nothing to do with what I am. They don't define existence itself, so they're truly not a problem. I notice that rumination is coming from identifying with reactions, as if I am the one reacting, as if there actually is a separate me here reacting. But there isn't, thoughts are simply just happening. Isn't this simple sense effortlessly aware of reactions also? When you notice this, it becomes so easy to not react because you realize you're never reacting. You can just watch them rise and fall away. You have to begin to question the mind who is the one reacting and notice that you can't find the one who's reacting. There are just thoughts that feel as if there is a separate me here reacting, but just stay as you are as existence itself and observe, no matter what. And this is nothing you have to hold on to. This is what you already are. So if the mind is confused and trying to figure out something or hold on to some experience, notice it doing that. You don't have to reject it or push it away. When you do that, you're just giving these thoughts value and meaning. They will naturally go away. They only stay around because of how you perceive them. Stop believing that they define you, you, as in what you truly are. If I'm pointing to what you are and I'm saying it isn't a thought and it isn't a body, it isn't an emotion, well then none of those appearances define you directly because you exist without them, but they can't exist without you. There is nothing in this world that defines you. What you are is not of this world. Literally, you can't find yourself here. Notice that being has no shape, no form, no gender. It has no location. You have been many places in the world. And regardless of where your body has been, you have always felt the sense of I'm here. If you stand on one side of the street and close your eyes, and then you walk to the other side of the street and close your eyes, your being didn't move. It didn't go anywhere. You would still be able to say I am here, regardless of what side of the street you're on, because you aren't moving. The body is, but you are at the senses, everywhere, nowhere, at the same time. It's everywhere because no matter where you go, it's here and it's nowhere because you can't actually find it. This sense is everything. When I talk about oneness, I know how magical it can sound, but it's so simple. This sense is what we all share. Everyone is existence itself, and there is only one you. You have to realize you aren't separate in this very moment. You have never been separate, meaning separation never actually happened, because it doesn't exist. Regardless of how the body feels, remember the body doesn't define you. So go to that which is effortlessly aware of the body. When you stay with this simple sense, you'll begin to realize how everything is this and how this is all there is. 
sounds are this, the body is this, thoughts are this, the environment is this, other bodies are this. Now, everything I just named are simply appearances. They aren't what they appear to be. They don't actually exist because only you do. Only existence exists, and everything is existence appearing as something.